Have you ever felt like life is limiting you? Have you ever experienced a sense of being restricted by the constraints of everyday life that we all face? When someone requires about your day, you may find yourself at a loss for words, only able to respond with nothing out of ordinary or same old, same old. Are you employed by a large company and feel unimportant and easily replaceable? Or do you have a boss who is selfish and doesn't respect your personal time? Have you ever thought to yourself, I want to get away, I want to fly away. Not having enough money can lead to unhappiness, but having too much can also have the same effect. The less re you require, the more content you will likely be. We often find ourselves in a situation where high expectations are placed on us, leading us to have high expectations of others as well. There are numerous social norms that we must adhere to. Both parents are typically required to work full-time jobs, leaving little time for personal activities. At work, going above and beyond is expected. Additionally, parents are expected to excel in their roles and raise their children well, but often lack the time and energy to do so effectively. Children are feeling frustrated, despite appearing to have everything they need. They are well-dressed and have access to unnecessary items like expensive phones for chatting with friends instead of engaging in face-to-face -face socializing. The Stanley Cup thermos cup has become popular in the U.S. due to effective marketing, leading kids to believe they must have it in order to fit in and avoid bullying. One girl received a real Stanley Cup from her dad, but was disappointed it wasn't a trendy coffee cup until her mom gifted her one that same Christmas. Unfortunately, some kids are using the heavy cup as a weapon in schools, resulting in serious injuries like a girl being in coma right now. Despite this, schools are allowing it, contrasting with past restrictions I recall experiencing in my high school in Georgia with certain brands and styles being restricted due to gang affiliations. Is life as comfortable as it appears? We may have initially desired warm water, but cold water is actually better for our health and alertness. While we may have preferred ready-made food, we are now realizing the true consequences of this lifestyle on both ourselves and the environment we live in. Could this comfort actually be the key to true comfort? Ice bath therapy has been found to be more effective in healing trauma than traditional psychiatric methods. Have you heard of Shinrin-yoku, the Japanese practice of forest bathing? By simply breathing in fresh forest air, one can experience internal healing. Many who practice forest bathing find exposure to phyton sites, the essential oils and trees with therapeutic properties, to be highly beneficial. These compounds can boost the function of natural killer, NK, cells in the body, which play a crucial role in fighting cancer and infections. Working with soil exposes us to bacteria that can have a similar positive impact on the brain as antidepressants do. When we disconnect from nature, we suffer. It is essential for our survival and true happiness to be connected to the natural world. We strive for perfection in a flawed world, believing that artificial perfection will bring us happiness. This belief ultimately leads to unhappiness. We must learn to accept the flaws of nature and liberate ourselves from the constraints of control. What are your opinions? Please share and provide feedback. By subscribing, you help this channel. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next episode.